Hey everybody, uh, today I'm trying to give you a really good, clear angle of me doing some of my uh, more important hat steaming tricks. So I've got this old uh, Junky Borsellino that uh, I use sometimes to practice on. It's an old pre-bankruptcy Borsellino, it just needs tons of work and stuff. And it's just, you know, really shot. But um, we're going to fix this up. Let's pretend a customer just brought this to me. And uh, we're going to try to steam this thing and make it look as brand new as we can. So the first thing we know is that it needs a lot of stiffening. This thing is not going to respond to any kind of any kind of serious reshaping without serious, serious stiffening. So the first thing you have to do, obviously, is take off all the dust and lint to every single speck. Otherwise, what you're doing is you're spraying it and you're laminating all that dust underneath the coat of stiffening. And that's a permanent, like, dust you're putting on there. So get rid of every single speck of dust from the top, from the brim, the underside of the brim, the edge of the brim, and from the band. I also use a brush brush upwards on the grow grain ribbon to get out of the little cracks in the grow grain. So I'm just patting everything down the packing tape now. You should have a packing tape roll or tape gun by your hat steamer or your hat, uh, you know, your setup. All right, I got the hairspray. Anything super hold is good. Rave, Suave, Aquanet, as long as it's extra hold or super hold hairspray. Give it a good shake. Make sure you don't get it on the ribbon and you don't get it on the underside in the sweatband. All right. I'm spraying it and making sure not to get it on the ribbon. Generally, I cover the ribbon. This is just a junk hat, so I just avoided the ribbon on this, this go around. Usually works fine for me. I have pretty good control of the spray after so many years of doing it. Okay, I sped this part up, it's boring. I didn't feel like putting on the fan, so I'm just air drying the hat like this. You do that for maybe 120 seconds, two minutes or so, your hat will be dry most of the time. It's better to let it dry a little more though. What I'm doing right now is I'm killing time. I'm letting the spray dry a little bit more. I'm trying to do other things. I'm cleaning up the bands now. I'm doing whatever I can so I could just let that hairspray dry more. Just try to work on other stuff. All right, I'm cleaning the bands by going upwards with the horsehair brush. That's a brim brush. There you go, go upwards, clean the band. All right, I'm doing the underside now. I didn't really spray it. All right. Take a look at this. You could see the original color of the felt. Everything is so sun faded. It used to be way darker. You could see the underside of the brim was way darker. So this thing is just totally sun faded, sweated out. It's an old Borsellino. All right, so I'm steaming the top really well. I'm giving it a lot of steam. Remember the spray is dry now, so the hat's got stiffener on it. So I want to melt that stiffener now because the hat's now shapeable and it's going to dry into any shape I want. So I want to make every side of the crown round. So I'm pulling it tight, almost stretching it against that steel. I'm holding it by the brim and just pulling it, pulling it back. And I'm doing that all around all different sides. I steamed the crown really, really hot before I did this. And I just keep doing it and doing it until the crown gets rounder and rounder. You get less of the old shape, less of the wrinkles, the dents, the fingerprints. Combination of rounding it out this way on the steel cylinder. You could also do it against the tabletop. I have a method where you kind of slap the inside of the crown. You'll see me doing that later. And I'm using now the sponge and the brush also to get rid of marks and just make the felt look newer. Less like old felt. Counterclockwise, using a sponge there. Gonna round it out more. I can still see some, you know, like the old crown shape is still there. So I'm taking notes of where I want to stretch that area, pulling it back more, I'm rounding it out. You can't do anything until the hat has a nice, good blank canvas. You need a good open crown where the felt is clean, conditioned, no lumps, no dents, and it's round. 
If the hat isn't round and new, it's not gonna look new again. It has to be just cylindrical. Okay, you know what I'm doing now. Working on the brim. First thing I do is I enhance the flange by pushing the flange up from behind. You can see my hand on the left there pushing, pushing, making sure not to get burns. And then I lay it against the tabletop keeping the flange curvy. I don't want to flatten out the flange, but getting the edge of it flat. I'm using the table as a straight edge. You do each side one at a time. If you don't get any results, it means you need to stiffen more. First thing you do is got to get that flange out though. There's no sense in straightening the brim until the flange is up. Otherwise, it's going to just look wavy. That's a two-step uh, process. Same thing, making the flange curvy. Now I'm straightening the edge of the brim. I'm gonna do that around the whole brim. So you basically wanna work on the crown, then you wanna work on the brim. But today we're gonna do something special for the crown. I'm gonna use a special method. It's uh, using a Panama hat that's slightly bigger. You could use a stiff felt or a Panama that's nice and stiff. You use that, it's a little tiny bit bigger than the hat you're shaping, and use that as a hat block to give you uh, the shape of the crown. So in other words, uh, I'm gonna use that as a mold, like a you know male and female thing. You'll see, so I'm working on the, the brim here, trying to get as much of the brim done as I can. All right, crown is basically pretty round. not round enough though obviously I see some problems I'm gonna do a little bit more you want to get rid of that old center crease shaping as much as you can sometimes it's a matter of actually stretching the hat with stiffener on it using that uh, I use that steel thing and I pull the hat against it pretty firmly it's almost stretch a new shape into it. Okay, this is another method of making the crown round. If you don't have the steel cylinder, you see what I'm doing? I'm slapping like that inside of the crown. I took the lining out and I'm making flat sides all around. So I'm making the felt flat rather than round, but it's almost the same. It works very well. You tend to just make a lot of flat sides, you know, treat it like a I don't know what the word is, a hexagon with like 10 sides. And when you're finished, everything just looks nice and round and flat. You just get rid of all the individual problems. Okay, watch this now. This is that thing I told you about with the Panama hat. And this hat is just, it's still too soft. It's not gonna react very well to a nice center crease unless I stiffen it more. This hat is just too shot, you know? So we're gonna try this alternate method. All right, we're gonna use that. We're gonna make sure it's very straight. We don't wanna make a center crease that's off-centered. So we kinda of line it up. I pull out the lining, okay? Now, it's not really good to steam inside a hat like I'm doing here. I don't really recommend doing this. Um, it's much better if you don't have a leather sweatband. If you have a new hat, it's probably fine. If you're working with a vintage hat or an old used hat, Steaming like I just did will probably damage the sweatband. Again, this is a junk hat. It's basically for practicing on. So um, what I would probably do is not steam it inside the crown. I would steam it outside. Okay. I would steam the top of the gray hat's crown, get it really, really soft, and then put it inside. So I should have done that for you guys, but uh, I don't know. Since this hat is so junky, I decided to steam it on the inside. I don't recommend ever steaming inside the crown unless you have a uh, cloth band or a ribbon band because the, the leather will definitely dry out if it's an older hat. All right, so I'm just kind of rubbing all those shapes, the pinches, the pinches, the center crease from the inside with my hand. And here it is. Look at that. It looks like that left pinch is imperfect, but uh, it's very easy to correct because everything is all right there. There we go. Worked well. 
This is just an experimental method. I actually do this sometimes when I'm having problems. People bring in like real crap hats that are just almost unshapeable. This is something I do. I just stiffen the heck out of them and I use another hat as a, as a mold. Sometimes it works. I thought you'd get a kick out of checking that out. Let's put the lining back in. We'll fix up a couple of, you know, flaws there. There they are. Same crease. Got to make sure the Panama is big enough, otherwise it will definitely mess up the band of the hat underneath it. See, so it has to be loose enough to fit over it nicely. If it's too tight, it'll probably wrinkle up the band on your uh, felt hat. <laughs> and now folks it's time to say good night we sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment please drive home carefully and come back again soon good night <laughs>